In last week's episode, we completed the ceiling on Bryson's earth bag bedroom. It's on to the rocket stove. A couple months back, the guys began to plan where they're going to place it. My thought was, is firebox can a bench and then you won't take off into the road. Oh. And then we put a bench here. They decide on the back circle. Probably won't be no more than probably this wide. Our know. benches are usually straight, but we decided to kind of give this one a little bit of a curve. Match the wall a little bit. Contours the wall. What he said. We bought the barrel at a uh, local oil changing business in town, so it's nice. Five bucks. Yeah, it's good. We had a first design where we wanted to use a block, but... The problem with this look is... This look is nice. nice. But, but we, we have all, cut all, all of them in half. So we gave up on that. I like those. We found some terracotta that we had acquired somewhere. We need just another inch or two of a cop seat. So it's only going to be about that We got the piping at the local hardware store. At the end of our bench here, we want to be able to put a clean out so that we can clean out in different areas. This T is just a little too wide. So I'm going to shorten the T up so that I can get my elbow pieces for the return in just a little bit further. There'll be plenty of room to, to get that in. Dirt, lots of dirt. We were fortunate to already have some fire brick. This is the base of the firebox. Putting brick on side that too. So you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay, let's find those. And here's our opening down here. Come around this way here. You might be able to get um, at the focus rise. There we go. The firebox now that we push in from the front as opposed to from the top. Okay, so the fire is in that little thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. We built the firebox a little different this time. Instead of actually running the wood in top, we ran it from the side. And then where is it? Is this the opening that Dad's working yeah, on? Yeah, and the uh, chimney stack kind of comes out this way. Bryson got new boots. So now your feet aren't going to pop out on every video we do with that bright orange. Good. They're going in the safety. They're going in your keepsake? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, we should go to go look at it. You want us to go look at it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so if we go 12 inches up from the top of his barrel, which is here, then that's about where it is on his. Worked well. That's how Garen's is set up. Garen seems to work really well, so we're going to go with the 12 inch one, which is pretty much simple. Mathematics is really when you have a 6 inch pipe, you want to go a 12 inch chimney. It's just two times. So if we have this here, and this kind of corners into this, and there's a corner here. It's a 3 to 1 ratio that we use for the combustion chamber. We sometimes have had a smaller, like a six inch and then maybe an eight inch or 10 inch pipe around it, but our barrel is not quite big enough for that. We didn't really have materials around the property. You come up two inches and flare it. We're measuring out 14 inches so you can flare these back and it. I don't know what I just suggested, but it works. Dad likes it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we literally built one. Three thick. Locking them on. Mm -hmm. We taped them together with that uh, great metal tape, which works really well. Enough to at least set a form, and then we use cob inside the chamber itself. That's a combustion chamber that we built. As far as the insulation. Seat. Yeah, the insulation from the inside of the chamber to the out. We have a minimum of two inches that we have from the outside of the combustion chamber to the inside of the barrel that sets over the top of it. Two inch taller than the chamber. Yes. Okay. So it would be two inches at the top and a minimum of two inches around. On the outside edge. I need to have to go get a new one. <laughs> it looks a little grinded down. Three years in a barrel. So, so this goes like this. We put wood in here and the fire burns here and then air gets sucked into here and then it goes through this chamber. And then the barrel is going to sit on top of it. This is going to allow the fire to burn up and around. It's going to come down. And it's going to exit out that way. Come down here, come back around the back, and up and out. So it was chewing on these. You can grind it in here. Cut it back too. See you. That's pretty cool. That's 
the idea. They make a tool that the guys who work with this pipe a lot. That's a pair of pliers that has a bunch of rims in it that creates an end like this. And they just crimp it. And I don't have that tool, so what I thought I would do is kind of improvise a little bit. And I found that if I could just take my needle nose pliers, I can get something similar, and I'm willing to bet, slide that right in. Getting the piping ready to go underneath the cob of the bench. At this point now we're trying to level our combustion chamber, but I also have to make sure that we're within two inches of the top. One way to do that is I'm gonna measure up from here straight across and then see where this fits. It should fit about, yeah, look at that, nine and a half. That comes up here nine and a half. So we're good getting our, you know, our couple inches right here at the top of that, which is what we want. Kind of needs to set where it needs to set, not much change. The clean out on the end. 45 degrees. Right here we have some barbed wire that we need to go ahead and cut that loose so I can get a pipe through. There's a hole in the wall. I think I have the angles right. Beautiful. We angled up the exhaust a little bit up as the pipe went on. The smoke would always have an exit going up. We're gonna test our fireplace out before we cover it all up, just to make sure everything's built correctly. Like we did on the other rocket stoves, you don't need a lot of clearance between the wall and the stove pipe itself because there's not a lot of heat that's put off by the stove pipe. The combustion chamber provides a really efficient burn, burning a lot of the materials there. A lot of the heat is spent there as the little bit of smoke and a little bit of moisture comes out of the combustion chamber. The bench passively stores the heat from the combustion chamber exhaust. You run it that big for half hour? I just hour. feel the heat. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. We'll chuck more wood in there. Why? Because it's fun. It'll, the best it'll feel really good when it's 100 degrees out. Are you happy with the spray? Yeah. Jay and I, we're doing pop batches. Yeah, we're just kind of tamping it down, getting it into the corners, making sure that we're filling up the entire box. That this is awesome. So how much higher are you going to go here with this spray? It will go about an inch higher than we spray spray. Okay. The family artist is at work putting together her recreation of sculpting and molding. Trained, of course, by her famous jock who helped bring her along and make her the sculptor that she is. Dad, we're not bringing Jock back. Bryson's doing a great job over here, too. It's for artiste. Kind of rounding it off. Looking good. Oh, that does look good. Like that. You know. Jiggle it. Like jello. Like a. Wow, that's beautiful. After the cob is completed, mom runs to get the tile bucket. Kind of a junky tile bin, but see if we can put some tiles in there. What's Shay got going over here? A little design. I'm just pushing them down. I hope they're gonna be all right. Looks good, right? That's a nice look. Make sure they can stay smooth. Can you get the flu? The exterior fluid coming out and um, making an elbow turn, going up, and putting a little cap on the top of the main metal tape it onto here. And then I kind of bent this down to try to help keep wind at the top here. All right, we got her all finished up. It's on there and perfect. It took several days for the rocket stove to dry. We applied three to five coats of Lindsay to harden the cop. We had most of the supplies for the rocket stove, with the exception of the barrel, the ductwork pipe, and the fittings, which we estimate to be around $100. This brings our new grand total to $4,525. All right, there's a closet and the rocket stove right here. Pipe going up and out. It's a very nice seat it is. And boop, glow. Cool. With the rocket stove complete, it's time to move on to the cob floor. But that's for next time. Thanks for watching and have a super week. The rocket stove. The guys. The gooby guys. The gooby goose. And for the placement of the earth bag stove. Not earth bag. <laughs> One word. <laughs>
please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. If you like what you see, please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. You're going to need to raise the camera up. No. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Three rocket stoves. Oh, yeah, that's right. Four. <laughs> no. Four. Dad. Where's, where's the Don't four? you see the number four? It was Bet a portable me. Five bucks. Stove. Bet me. And the pipe we got at the local hardware store. It's just a fun It was a mouthful. One moment, please. I got this. <laughs> Three, quit it. <gasps> I don't even know what I was going to say. Two, one. Action. Is this recording? If it's a red dot, right? Is the red dot actually recording? Okay. Do something. <laughs> You're not doing anything. I am doing something. This is how we could feed him. Just, yeah. Throw food down that hole. As long as it's good food.